Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life and welcome back to our Sunday video. Now, if you've been around here for a little while, you will know that Sundays are a little different here on our channel because these are the videos that we focus on cooking, recipes, our health journey, keto, weight loss, all of that kind of fun stuff. Well, this video is sort of going to be that, but it's gonna be that in a little bit different of a way because as you're watching this video, Sherry and I are actually away on a weekend staycation. However, the chalet we're staying at has a full kitchen and in order to attempt to stay healthy on this trip, there is some food that we want to bring with us. So this is kind of going to be a weekend away, a getaway, a staycation food haul video. I'm actually in the parking lot of a local grocery store right now. We've got a few things that we want to buy. So I'm gonna go in and get those. We're gonna go home, we're gonna do a little bit of cooking. We're gonna pack up the food that we're bringing, show you guys all of that, show you the things we're bringing with us on our weekend to hopefully stay uh, a little bit healthier. You know, one of the problems when you travel is that every meal can be out at a restaurant and it's just, it's harder to stay healthy. And even though this weekend we're okay breaking keto, we still would like to be lower carb and eat healthy when we can maybe we have like dinners out at restaurants but breakfasts and lunch in the chalet so i think that's the plan but step one is to go in and shop so let's go heading into the grocery store i got my reusable shopping toe let's do some shopping first thing i need baby carrots now we're getting to the good stuff because one of the things we're bringing is like a charcuterie platter with us and the murray's cheese counter at fred meyer and anchorage is absolutely spectacular so let's find some cheese so i'm definitely getting a piece of this drunken goat it's one of our favorite favorite cheeses it's a goat milk with a wine or is a goat cheese with a wine soaked rind yes please and then i'm gonna get some of this butter cheese as well and then this is like a honey and lemon wensleydale so i think sherry would love that so I'm gonna get one of those. Cheeses are done. Now let's get a couple things of meat. I think I'm gonna get one thing of salami and then one thing of the dry sausage. Also getting some roasted turkey. Definitely need more happy eggs for a recipe I'm gonna make a little bit later. And we also need more cat litter for Missy. This, not for a recipe, just because we own a cat. Grocery store success. We found all but one thing that I needed, so now, Let's head home. All right, so I'm back home. Um, here is my plan on what we're gonna do for food. Also, I haven't showed you guys this. Do you guys love my Practice Radical Empathy shirt? It's one of my favorites. I love it. Um, sorry, got distracted. So my plan for food this weekend is that we have two mornings. We have Saturday morning and Sunday morning. Uh, Sherry and I probably want to wake up, have lazy mornings, not like have to leave the, the chalet to go get food. So I'm going to make a frittata here at home that we can bring with us and have for breakfast the two mornings. I'm going to show that here in a second. And then for lunches and snacks, we're going to bring a lot of those meats and cheeses. Kind of put together a little charcuterie board and... What we are going to bring for the board is this. One of you guys sent us this. Look, it's like a little Mickey cutting board. It's adorable. That's going to be our to-go, on-the-road charcuterie board. So we will have breakfast taken care of. We will have like lunches and snacks taken care of. And um, then I think we will go out to eat for dinner. Not sure what we're going to have, but we'll figure that out when we get there. So the first thing I need to do is make the frittata. Now this is super, super simple. I'm just going to make an easy like a meat and cheese one. Uh, it's actually only going to take a matter of minutes. So let me show you. Now the thing I love about frittatas is just how gosh darn easy they are. You can just make it with whatever, basically whatever you have available in your fridge. Uh, what we have, we've got some eggs. I've got this bag of Jimmy Dean fully cooked like pork sausage. I've got some cheese. If you had mushrooms or green peppers or onions or spinach or feta, like whatever you had that you wanted to include in a frittata, do it. This to me will be quick and easy and it gets rid of some stuff that we need to get rid of. So this is going to be our frittata. So I am putting eight eggs in here. And again, the goal is that this would be both of our breakfast, Saturday morning and Sunday morning. Sherry's not a huge breakfast person, are you, Sherry? Nope. Whereas me, well, breakfast is basically my favorite meal ever. Yeah, I mostly just get enough in my stomach so I can take my medicine and not feel sick, but like, it's not a lot. Totally. So then I'm gonna add the whole bag of that. And I've got a little bit of one bag of Mexican cheese left. So we'll dump that in there and then i'm just going to go ahead and give this a stir get this all mixed 
up. Now, you might look at that and say, Adam, that is not nearly enough cheese. And I completely agree with you. However, um, I'm gonna add more cheese to the top once it gets in the cast iron pan. This is just, this is our starter amount of cheese. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of whipping cream. Mix that all up. And the last thing I'm gonna add to this is a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then once all of that is mixed up, and I think that looks pretty darn good, we're gonna take this and add this to our cast iron skillet. And then what we're gonna do is just dump that in there, and we're just going to start the cooking process in the cast iron. I just, like, I'm not gonna fully cook it in here because I'm actually gonna finish this in the stove. But I just wanna get the process started. I wanna see those eggs start to cook a little bit. And then my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. And so once the eggs are starting to cook, I'm going to put this in there for probably 10 to 15 minutes. Now you can actually see that the eggs are starting to cook. I'm not sure it's showing up on camera, but they're definitely starting to take shape starting to form there, which is what we want. Again, we're gonna finish cooking this in the oven, so I think that that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off to those, give them another stir, and then for one of the most important steps of the entire thing, lots, lots, lots more cheese. Now we're gonna take it and just toss it in our oven. Again, which is at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes, and we'll check on it. And while that is cooking, I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of coffee. Now the place that we are staying does have a refrigerator, so we're just gonna use this little like styrofoam cooler thing that some of Sherry's <laughs> medicine was delivered in, uh, just to act as a cooler, kind of a transport device to get the cheese and the meat uh, from our house to the chalet we're staying at. So for those things, we're just gonna take them out of the fridge, set them over there, take all of these out of the fridge, set them over there, take some of these out of the fridge and set them over there. And there are a few things that we're gonna end up like cutting up uh, to get ready, but some of the things, honestly, like the baby carrots, can just go in there. Like some of these salami things, we'll just open those when we get out to the chalet. Like these cheeses, I'm just going to put in there like that. Uh, the turkey, gonna go in there as well. But then there are a couple things, um, like the reindeer sausage that I'm gonna cut up. I'm gonna cut up some green bell peppers. And then we also have these Mediterranean chicken skewers that we get from Costco. I'm not gonna cut these up, but I am gonna take a few of them out because we don't need to bring like all of those. I'm just gonna take probably half of these and put them in a Ziploc bag. Boom, reindeer sausage cut up, green peppers cut up. Got our little animator's palette cheese knife. If you know, you know. And obviously the next thing we need is dipping. Cause if you're gonna have a charcuterie board, you're gonna have meat, you're gonna have cheeses, you gotta dip it in some stuff. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna keep it simple. We're just doing some ranch. And then I have this roasted garlic aioli, which is amazing. So I'm gonna put those in the smaller containers. The timer just went off on the frittata. Let's pull this out. Oh yes, look at how that's like, puffed up and looking all wonderful. Oh my goodness, you guys. <sighs> Breakfast for the weekend is done. Now we're gonna let that sit for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes and cool down. And now, more coffee. Frittata has cooled mostly. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is cut it up and I actually have two of these containers that I'm going to put it in. We'll have one for breakfast Saturday morning, one for breakfast Sunday morning. This is always my question. Is the frittata actually going to come out of the pan like it's supposed to? Look, what? That's perfect. Well, that doesn't, I, I can make an adjustment there. And actually that worked out pretty darn well. You can see half the frittata fit in one of those. So now, Lid is going on the, is that even the right lid? Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe, yes, perfect. Okay, half the frittata in there. So there's breakfast for Saturday. All right, well, I need to start packing over because I realize that I have so much stuff, it's not gonna fit in here. So that goes away. That was very extroverted. Now, I do have this insulated uh, grocery bag, so I'm going to use this. I'm gonna put like one ice pack in there, but I thought that before I did that, I'd just kind of walk you through everything we're gonna bring. So, for breakfast, you know, we have the frittata. And then for lunches, as far as meats, we have uncured dried sausage. We have uncured salami. We have reindeer sausage and we have turkey, and then the last thing we have 
are those chicken skewers. So that's kind of the, the meat snack portion of what we are bringing. And then as far as cheese goes, we have the butter cheese, one of my favorites. We have that honey lemon cheese. We have the, uh, the drunken goat, which is so stinking good. And then we also have cream cheese because for me, I love cream cheese with bell peppers. And I'm also bringing some everything but the bagel seasoning. And then we're also bringing a couple things of baby carrots. For dipping, we have that roasted garlic aioli and the ranch. So this is gonna be our breakfast and lunch kind of snack food for the weekend. And everything fits perfect in that bag. So now I'm gonna take this and put it over here with the other stuff that I have packed. This is a Lego puzzle we're going to do. One of you guys sent us this, amazing. We're finally gonna to get to do it. There's my everything but the bagel seasoning, charcuterie board, there's just like some knives thrown in there, uh, just random cords and stuff. Also, I do realize that when I smacked the cooler uh, completely appropriately across the kitchen and the dining area, I said that was very extroverted. That's not what I meant. What I meant was that was very Aries. Not all extroverts are loud, annoying, uh, but most of us Aries are definitely loud and annoying. So, me doing that, that was my Ariesness coming out. I apologize to all of you non Aries, but all of you Aries who are watching were probably like, yes! Oh my goodness, you guys, I almost forgot something terribly important for this weekend cookies. How could I almost forget the cookies? So I think that is what we're gonna bring this weekend. And I love this for two reasons. Uh, there's two ways that this is gonna help Sherry and I. Uh, obviously being able to have food that we bring with us that's a little bit healthier, that helps us stick to at least low carb, if not keto, will be huge for us. But the second thing actually, honestly, may be more important this weekend. Having the food there in the, like, in the chalet is one less thing for us to think about. It's one less thing for us to have to leave and get. It's one less thing for us to have to, like, prepare or spend, like, mental capacity on. Because we already know the food we have, which will allow us, I think, I hope, to rest a little bit better. Which is the whole goal of this weekend. Because now, like, breakfasts are done. I don't have to wake up and think about breakfasts. I just have to wake up, heat it up, make some coffee, and rest and relax. Lunches, I don't even have to think about it. And so then we have like the entire first part of our days just to be together, just to relax, just to rest. And then when it comes to dinner, we can like go out and get a nice dinner. And I think that's exactly what we want. So it helps us stay a little bit healthier, helps us eat a little bit healthier, but then it also uh, takes one thing off of our plate and off of our brain that we have to think about. So friends, I know this is a different kind of Sunday video. It's not necessarily a traditional cooking video, even though I did make a frittata. Uh, but I just thought, you know, we would show you guys Guys, how we pack, how we prepare, what we're bringing with us on our weekend getaway to uh, just to help us have a more relaxing time and a little bit healthier time. Friends, we love you guys so very much. Thanks for being a part of our Leg Life community, and we will see you guys tomorrow on Monday with the next Leg Life video.